What's up guys, Steve here from Royal Planet Tanks and I just wanted to do another quick recap. I figured I'd give y'all another shot at this bad boy. So everything settled in, the tan and tea is cool and before we get into it, look, I shot this video yesterday, alright? It was dope, like it was, it was lit, like the crabs was all out, the fish was playing, everybody was cool. So I go upstairs to edit the video. I take my SD card, I put it into my SD card reader, and due to some kind of crazy malfunction and I've never heard of, it wiped the whole SD card. And I almost had a moment, you know, but that would have cost me some money because I was gonna smash the SD card reader, I was gonna smash the computer, and I was gonna smash my camera, like I was that pissed. So, you know, it's just like, you know, footage priceless, like my, my jungle footage, you know, all that, like, that trip was expensive. I just can't go back down there and, and, and film what I film. you know what I'm saying? So I'm freaking out, I said, you know what, the hell with it, and I went to bed. Luckily, uh, it took me all day, went to the gym, got it out of my system, and I was just tinkering around a while ago, and I was like, hey, dummy you put it in the cloud chill out so I didn't put last night's footage in the cloud that's fine this tank in the house I can shoot it whenever I want but the jungle footage I don't got a jungle in the house I mean I got a zoo but no jungle you know what I'm saying so I kind of chilled out Wusa, you know what I'm saying so that's that so let's get into this video right quick so just looking at everything like I said, I just really wanted you guys to get a better view of it. And um, now that some of the critters is out, and I can show them to you, there you got, uh, it's a couple crabs in a tree branch right there. That's pretty dope. Uh, there's actually one down here. Let me zoom in on this little fella right here. Look at this cat. Look at that. It's like your boy on Little Mermaid. What was his name? I don't know. That was... I'm dating myself. A uh, Sebastian. I might name little homie Sebastian. You know. But um. So he in here doing it. And I want to show you guys. I'm not tripping. Like for real. I got Malaysian trumpet snails in here. Look at this. Here let's get this up. Let's rock with it real slow. I knew I wasn't crazy. Look at that. That's a straight up Malaysian trumpet snail. And a big one too. You know, so once again, I don't know how they got in here. I do not. I didn't recycle nothing. I didn't use nothing from nothing I got established. I've been, you know, banging my head up against the wall trying to figure out how in the hell these things got in here. But I learned something. Like they can take brackish water. Like I said, I'm riding, I'm riding hot and heavy. It's uh, sitting at 16, so that water change didn't do nothing. It didn't do a whole lot. You know, when I uh, mix my salt water, there go a knee right right there for y'all. When I mix my salt water, I mix it up for 10 and uh, or 0 .10, 0 .10 on the refract, and um, that's what she do. You know. So let me zoom this back a little bit. So y'all can get a better look at it. You know. And then I'm going to talk about what I did. Um, I wanted to change it up. I was looking at it. And I was looking at the uh, botanicals. Because I was like it's kind of too dark. So I threw the tan and tea in there. And I wanted a different uh, leaf, stru leaf structure. I, like I said I got some uh, more botanicals on order. But I wanted to change the look up a little bit. You know lighten it up. So, what I did, it wasn't nothing fancy. I like the red mangrove. I like the yellow mangrove. I got some more of them coming. But those right there, the lighter leaves you see, those are actually um, just plain old magnolia leaves. You know? I mean, they fit the look. I like it. Um, I actually got those from, uh, from a buddy. Matter of fact, if you guys go check out his channel, uh, Alex over at G-Hack. His channel is uh, Ferritum Campator if I'm not mistaken and uh, he is a 
Blackwater Junkie. Like, he, he doing some crazy stuff with Blackwater. Cool Cat. I like him a lot. Uh, thanks, Alex, for the leads once again. So, like, if, if y'all send me something and I use it, I'm going to give you a shout out. Like, that's just how I roll. But, yeah, once again, brother, I appreciate you. You know, I mean, we got Magnolia Trees up here in Virginia, but, like, he guaranteed me that, you know, they pesticide free. They was already dry, ready to roll. And he sent me a buttload of them. And I ain't lost a fish head. I was just able to use them, pop them right in. He a fish head like me, so I trust him. So, once again, thank you. And y'all go check out his channel at Ferrum Campator. But looking here, I just want y'all to see like kind of kind of how the pseudomutuals look in a brackish tank, and I just wanted to go something different because when people think of brackish, automatically you know it's like those 1952 throwbacks, you know, uh, with the metal frames, running scats, uh, you know, just and those fish aren't ugly, but they ugly though, you know. You can rock nano. I mean, the the creator is good. He made all kind of beautiful things. You can you can do it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm just trying to show people a different way to run brack. You know, they got brackish blackwater biotopes in nature. I'm, I'm more than sure they do. You know, um, like I said, I'm still thinking about trying to see what's going to go in this substrate down here. I want to go with. I want to go with bumblebee gobies, you know. We'll check out Sebastian on that leaf, y'all. Look at that. I want to rock with some bumblebee gobies. Uh, like I said, they were recommended to me by a couple people, namely somebody I really trust. He way more of a fish head than I am, you know. So I, I was leaning to it anyway. He was like, hell yeah, man, do it. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I think it will be cool to watch them establish their territory um, in and out of the tank. All, with all the little uh, different things that I have down here, excuse me, on the bottom, you know, so I think I'm going to run with them. You know, I'm really liking how this thing started to clear up, and as y'all can see, like the tannin tea did it. I'm trying to tell you, you know, when I put it in here, let me zoom out hot, when I, when I put the tannin tea in, you know, it was milky, and what that was, it was, it was, it was still settling, but really, I told you I pissed them off because I was messing with them. You know, tinkering around in here, they wasn't too keen on that. Uh, so I had to coax them, and I coaxed them with a little bit of uh, frozen Daphnea, and I also threw some bug bites in here to try to kind of get them to try to eat, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't pop. They was like, no, no, bruh. You know, they all want to, you know, tuck back in the corner over there. But, you know, I mean, like me personally, if I wasn't filming this tank and sharing it with y'all on YouTube, I'd be totally okay with leaving this HOV in here. But... I don't like it. I, I can't keep saying that. So it's going. You know, do it work? Yeah, it worked great. You know, I can. I'm gonna just. I'm not gonna throw it away or nothing. It's gonna go on another little tank or something somewhere. You know, but for to 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 do a tank like this that that really was meant to be aesthetically pleasing, seeing as how I really specialized in concept style tanks anyway, a and really planted tanks. That's my love. You know. It's been a long time since I did a fish only tank, so I kind of wanted to kind of be like a, a a museum gallery type piece, you know. That was my approach with this whole tank, even with the throwback, you know, 1982 white stand, you know, the white background. It, it really, to me, I think it make the stain pop a little more now. Honestly, I think black would have been a better way to go, blacking out this back. You know, and my backs, my backgrounds are always interchangeable, so I might put black on that just to see. But uh, it's been done so much, and I really want to appreciate this stain. And I think white lends it better. I think I actually did did I did a mitten match to see like which one uh, articulated the stain better, and I ended up going with white. You know, and so real quick you know I just wanted to show it like this video ain't about nothing it was kind of like I said a little sloppy seconds video before and after I wanted y'all to be able to see it after it had a chance to settle in and you know the fish they forgiven me since then and you know if it wasn't for that snafu yesterday you guys would have been watching this video a long time ago let me get y'all uh take a gander over here at the uh pant and all it's still up and kicking boom focus it's still doing this thing you know what I'm saying uh, I need to get back on that one and start filming that one I like neglected that tank on purpose like 
hella bad. And Amazon stuff is tough. Like, I ain't trusting no man, woman, or small child from the Amazon. Because them damn things is bulletproof. The fish, the plants, everything. Like, you can't kill it. So I was like, well, I'm, well I wonder what'll happen, you know, if I just, you know, stop dosing. I, ain't, I really wasn't doing nothing but topping off, to be quite honest to you. And uh, the occasional water change, you know. But everything's cool. I ain't gonna lie. Some kind of way some black beard algae got in there. And I think I cross-contaminated it. Because I had it in one tank that I was telling y'all about that I killed off. So it's like completely gone in that tank. And it just moved over here. It ain't out of control. I think it look cool. So I ain't gonna mess with it. It's not retarding my plant growth or anything. So it's legit. I ain't worried about it. It's a part of nature. You know. But real quick. That's all I wanted. Was to show y'all. That uh. It really does look good. I mean. I wanted to say I appreciate all the outreach from the first video I put I pushed out a couple days ago that really 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 meant a lot to me to see everybody you know propping me up you know what I'm saying we support each other and that's a beautiful thing that's why I do this that's why I continue to do this uh, thank you for the subscribers thank you for all the support once again please don't forget to smash that like button you know if we can get this video right here to I don't know a thousand likes That'll be great. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Smash that subscribe button. This is Steve from Warrior Tank. You guys have a blessed rest of this week. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'm out.